everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka. And we are back with another Twitter thread. We just had one of the most interesting ban lists of all time. Some individuals thought that it was very good. Some individuals thought, boy, Fire King Snake Eye still seems really powerful. But I'm asking you individuals, what are you playing in the upcoming format? And I am beginning with my boy. He's back. He's at three. We got him out of his shitty apartment. <laughs> he is all the way back. All right, what do you all have? But first, it's here. Happy April 19th, or as I like to call it, the day that this thing fries. The plushie's out, and look at how happy he is. Folks, my exceptionally limited edition plushie is available now at u2s.com. You can get it yourself by either going to the website or by clicking the link in the pinned comment. These little guys are only gonna be available for two weeks, and once they are gone, they are gone. We ain't getting any more of them. So if you're not a true believer in MBT, but you are MBT curious, this might be your only opportunity to get your hands on these sweet cheeks. Once again, that's http colon backslash backslash www.youtube.com. Please be kind to me, ghost trick community. You'll pay for what you've done. Bop, bop, bop. GGPM says, I will be playing Supreme King Melodious. Okay, I was with you in the first half. Watching this deck do well in some OCG events got me really excited to play the deck. Gotta keep the pendulum hype going. What the fuck is, what? This is an OCG list, it goes crazy. Oh, you're just playing the two Melodious monsters? I could fuck with it, that's not terrible. I've been playing Elestrals while the format's couple of Colossus weeks die down. I am so frustrated that they made this list legal for Raleigh. One, because it invalidated a significant amount of my testing, and two, because I know that 80% of the fucks in in that room are going to be playing Colossus, even though it's bad. I'm actually so excited to try out Light Sworn again, now that no one is playing Tear anymore. Do we tell him? How many Minervas are we going to make? Easy. Dyer, do you have any friends? Do you have any bulk? I need to know. GCD says Raid Raptors. Tons of fun. Very rewarding. Very appreciative of some of the hits. I loved them last format. I'm looking forward to playing them more in post lead and post ban list. And if anyone does Protoss called Dark on me, I'm going to drive into a wall. Uh, I think right now Protoss is calling another attribute. You'll probably be fine. Game one. Thunder Dragon was the first deck I ever topped locals with after Colossus ban. Playing it with modern support in Colossus is too good to pass up. Out with Monodium. In with Sword Soul. Labyrinth is in a decent place right now. PK Sparks thinks Labyrinth is in a decent place every format. More of wishful thinking, but with the death of Baron and Savage, I have hopes this archetypal boss negate will move in to fill the slot that fuck off generic combo decks will be leaving in the game. I <laughs> hope you're right. I'm nothing if not consistent, said Cursed Eyes. I don't, I don't, do you even pay attention to the ban lists? You've been slinging this same 55 for the last five years. Oh, I guess, you know, they did have to figure out that Speedroid Terror Top is good. I believe that she can win. I mean, probably, right? Like we all kind of expected. I have plans that I cannot divulge because the haters are trying to sabotage me. There are field spells that need destroying, but the haters are trying to sabotage me. I think the second wave of support is trying to sabotage you as well. Infernoble Knights plus my goat gear freed. It's so funny that people are still playing Infernoble Knight. They were like, no, I sold was kind of holding us back. And the funniest part of it is I think that they might be right. <laughs> I think it might have been four more years. I think a Y is not the it is crazy that Brandon continues to be around. Long live the king. It's been like a year now that everyone's been devastated by the price of Yu-Gi-Oh! And throughout the entire year, a $50 runic deck and an SP has been winning major events and people tend to ignore them. It's crazy. I, I don't know how many times stun can do well at an event before we stop going, it's a fluke. We're like, oh no, it's like a fluke. It's like, we might have to care about this shit. We're so back. Don't tell anybody. I think they might actually be so back. This deck is good. Excited for a lot of things. Crystal Beasts are a huge winner of this ban list because Pegasus is a one-card Protoss lock. Don't need to know that. And some brews were already natively on Corridor for rank 4 purposes. Also been really hyped about the kinds of setups you can do in Hero with 3 Mali. What the fuck happened to your Mudball Man? It's not a meta deck. It's not a sleeper pick. I don't even think it's particularly well positioned. That said, I will keep discarding Harpoor off of Orchestrated Return until Konami tells me I can't anymore. This man Gucci down to the socks, but need 
Seed. Babel? Bestial Thunder Dragon, no doubt. It will become more how I want to build the deck. Horus for Photon Lord and friends to get Thunders out of hand. Normal Armageddon Knight, Dump Dark, combo with Mallies if I don't draw off FD for DPE. That sounds fun. Oh my god. You banish Shift to increase the attack of one of your monsters. Corridor Target Shift. <laughs> the grind can't stop. It won't stop. Tier Laments is the one deck I never get tired of using. Might even try a Light Sworn variant for lead. This is the thing. When we told you to get it twisted, when we said 90% of gamblers quit right before they hit it big, we weren't just talking about the games. We were talking about the formats. It's coming back in a big way, baby. Well, Baron is banned, so I'll have to play Perfection to insulate my Chaos Max Lock. Don't you duelists get tired of Omni Negates? This deck scratches the I love playing this game in this way side of my brain. I haven't put it down in four months. I don't intend to stop now, and I get to dap up Shifter every time I see him. <laughs> I've been having fun testing Kashtira Striker Orchest. <sighs> I'm interested. Been playing around with a few strategies, and I think going forward, this is the one I want to play for this upcoming format. <laughs> the true measure of a broken card is not how good they are in bad decks, but how good they are in good decks. Therefore, I will be playing Malicious and Armageddon Knight in Snake Eye. <laughs> What are you doing with this card? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Rika. Why is no one saying Rika? Rika looks fun. I have been waiting for years for Colossus to come back. I'm cooking up a pretty sick runic bestial thunder list that has propelled Thunder Dragon back to my favorite deck. It is a cool control list with a lot of grind game to it. Oh, regrettably, this does not look bad. Control in quotes. I don't know. Like it kind of is, right? Why am I still allowed to do this? Great question! Holy, what a good fucking question! Incredible question! I don't know. Been playing PK for three years. Sure as hell ain't gonna stop now. You're gonna look like the Phantom Knights of Rusty Barnish. Magispector. They can put up diverse interactions, especially with Kieran. The problem is it dies to Imperm Veiler on new, and if you play a hand trap against the best deck, they auto win. Has potential, not in this meta though. Behold, perfection. I don't want to see it. I respect Dymax a lot when it comes to decks with birds in them, but Dymax's goblin lists are like the worst things I've ever laid eyes upon. 49 card goblin. What do you want me to say about this? The number one thing I'm wondering is, what the fuck are you talking about? 49 cards. They've replied, 49 is a math thing, by the way. Oh, is it? It's going to be so funny. It's not going to be this deck, first of all. But it's going to be so funny when someone eventually tops with a deck that's mostly replaceable stuff that is playing like 51 cards or something stupid, and they just like walk people through the proof. As we close this episode, I'd like to say, why are you all so excited to play Thunder Dragon Colossus? Have you read that card? Do you know what it does? You're okay with that? You, 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 okay, far be it from me to question people's loyalty to a floodgate. Dyer, put up the, the two the two faces going like, you know the meme. No, fuck you. I know you're thinking you're going to get into editing and zoom in on the no, fuck you. Do put that up. It's funny. It's a funny bit.